Yeah, no, it's there. A passionate woman started quite a long time ago. My mother told me a story. Um, well, it, I thought it was a story when she started telling me. And then I realised that she was telling me the truth about her early, early life when she was married to my father, just married to my father. Uh, and uh, they lived in the poorer quarters of Leeds. Mum lived in a converted house, a converted Victorian house that was um, like a warren of, of two-roomed flats you know, and with toilets outside, and uh, that's that's how she lived basically with my dad. And she started an affair with um, with a neighbour. Your husband does not look after you, Betty. In here, no. And in here, you need more than he can give you. I mean, that doesn't sound amazing, really, but it is amazing if you knew my mum because she was the most unglamorous, unkind of, uh, you know, not, not a vain woman in any shape or form. She was just an ordinary mumsy type of person. And things like that didn't happen to my mum, and certainly not with a Polish fairground worker. I hope to God you've not stayed with him all these years for me. So then we see her as a grown woman, and we see the consequences of the affair that she had. 30 years ago. You like no. rough, dirty sex no, in every position no. you can think of. And there was only one no. person who liked it more than him, and that was me, sweetheart. Oh, I could kill you. Yeah. I draw on Yorkshire, um, and Leeds, I suppose, specifically, uh, because, because I love it. Because it's where I was born and bred. It's because this is where this story started, where it, the middle of it and the end of it, it's all of it. Um, and because it's beautiful. I think Yorkshire's beautiful and it's filmic. I can't think of anywhere else that I'd rather film something. I don't want you to What I'd really like, Betty, is for you not to lie to me. I don't lie to you. You do. Well, nowadays um, it's very difficult to get funding for independence to be able to make a programme uh, like such as A Passionate Woman. And, uh, you know, so we, we went to our agency, we went to Screen Yorkshire to ask them if they would, you know, sort of help finance and um, maybe uh, provide people to help us. And, uh, you know, they were great. They, they offered money, sort of financial help. They offered uh, talent. You know, we've got, um, we've got a great um, uh, executive producer, Hugo Heppel, who's, um, who's been very, very helpful to us. And, uh, and also people that could come and train, you know, they'd, they'd be training, inverted commas, but also they'd be, you know, helping. Because we'd need all hands to the deck, really, when you're making something so big as that in two particular periods. I mean, 1980s you don't think is a period, but actually it is a period. And 1950s, finding the locations, for instance, where you can film in Leeds that are still 1950s, is tough. <laughs> You're not really here, are you? You're in my head. I'm whatever you want me to be. I think this is a wonderful place to film anything, really, because it's, it's got everything. We've got this kind of really urban, kind of developed um, centre, and then we've got the, you know, the rolling hills and the, you know, the Yorkshire Moors, and it's, you know, it's all, it's all within, you know, a, a, sh a short distance of time to get from A to B, and that's the most important thing when you're filming because it's about, you know, time. Time is money, so we've got it. It's all on our doorstep. And there's the resources here, so you can, you know, you can knock on Screen Yorkshire's door, you can say, you know, we need extra hands for this, or do you know if there's a really good editor that's in Leeds or in, or in Yorkshire? Where can we get 1980s cars from? Where can we, you know, you'd knock on their door and they'll go, ah, right, well, so-and-so and so-and-so, and, -so, and they can cross-section things and tell, tell you where, you know, where, where they are. So I'd say, I'd say it's a fantastic place, actually, to film. I don't understand it. We've got everything we could ever want. I'm a passionate woman! I needed a passionate man! <laughs>